you just got your decision letter from Harvard. You submitted the following. A 1600 SAT, all A's and maybe one B plus, and a gazillion extracurriculars. You open the letter expecting a letter of acceptance, but you get rejected. Why? With each year that passes, college acceptance rates have been getting lower and lower. Harvard just reached their highest acceptance rate in four years, which stands at a staggering 3.59%. The fact that this number is recognized as a high percent really goes to show how competitive Harvard really is. Cornell, Princeton, MIT, and other Ivy League schools all have an acceptance rate below 10%, but why? Well, many people think that these acceptance rates are low because they only accept smart people, and this is partially true. You see, Harvard and other Ivy League schools try to keep the statistics like average GPA and SAT as competitive and as high as possible, which makes sense considering why their acceptance rate is so low. Or does it? Well, there's actually more to it than you think. You see, there's been a record high inflation in grades and in the economy. Some Ivies are not need blind, especially for international students like Cornell. So why does this matter? Well, colleges have been rejecting students with immaculate grades and stats because of how much financial aid they may require. Ivy League schools charge well over $50,000, and sometimes students say that they're paying over 90 k a year to attend. Additionally, Ivy League schools are known for making bright kids brighter. These top universities want to admit students that will become celebrities or well-known figures like actresses Emma Watson from Brown University or John Legend from UPenn. The issue is, these schools try to keep these pristine images of being a top school. And they are. They they offer great academics, diversity, and extracurriculars, but many students have been getting high grades or have a great resume of academic success, yet they still get rejected. The problem with keeping this image of being a top university has its flaws. High school students rejected from Harvard may search elsewhere, like India, Singapore, or the UK, and get an education there. America, the country of opportunity, is slowly losing its geniuses if these colleges continue to deter and reject these outstanding students. Other countries whose education system is becoming more and more exceptional are slowly beating American schools in national rankings. Now, I don't mean this video to deter you from submitting or applying to these Ivy League schools. However, these low acceptance rates do turn away students. And although these top universities could care less, foreign countries like India, China, Singapore, and the United Kingdom, and even Estonia, are slowly bringing the United States in academic excellence and rankings. But what do you guys think? Do you think these record low acceptance rates are good or bad for these schools in America? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.